of effects are keyframable. So now I've got this black and white effect, and I only want to have it affect the Grand Canyon itself here and not the sky or the clouds at all. So right here we can apply a shape or a color mask, or even invert the mask. So I'll click this button, and in this case I'm going to choose a color mask. By selecting this area, I've now applied my effect just to the sky and not to the Grand Canyon at all. But I can invert that by choosing Invert Masks. So as a final step, I want to keyframe this color correction. I'll move into this clip a little ways. I'm going to set the amount to zero as a starting point. Add a keyframe by clicking the keyframe icon. Move forward in time. If I drag the slider up to 100%, I automatically get another keyframe. Let's press Control V. And we can see our, our two keyframes here. And if I play across this clip now, the color correction changes over time, and it's only applied to a portion of the clip.